Hello everybody, this is Dan Dannemuller um, here with Mr. Ron. We're talking a little bit about uh, tips for post-spawn and in the summertime and fall for fishing for crappie. And one of the things we talked about were crappie fishing um, when we're out doing that but uh, with crankbaits. And the crankbait is a great tool in your arsenal to be able to go out and fish the fish after they've spawned and they're out roaming on the flats and near the creek channels and they're feeding on shad. The crankbait looks like a shad, looks like what they're wanting to eat. One of the ways to do that is pulling off the back of your boat, which gets into speed, it gets into issues of how deep will the crankbait go, how deep are the fish. If you can push a crankbait off the front, which you can, and that's what I do, this is the technique you may want to use. I use it to catch them on crankbaits, and I'm using them with a crankbait that's new from Johnson Fishing. This particular model, the way I'm doing this and technique, the model of weight is from Bass Pro Shops. It's a trolling rig, and you can buy them from Bass Pro Shops. If they don't have them in your store near you, you can order them from the catalog, or you can call in the Bass Pro Shops and ask for the trolling weights. They come in weights anywhere from a half ounce all the way up to five, six ounces. And the one I like to use is the one ounce weight. It has a clip on the end of it, and then I'm clipping a liter of 36 inches, eight pound gamma line. In this case, it's a very clear fluorocarbon. And I'm using a 0001 clip down near the crankbait. So the main line comes in, it clips to the weight on the top, then it's the weight, and then I tie these leaders at 36 inches with a clip on one end a little bit bigger up near the weight and a little bit smaller near the crankbait. I put my crankbait of choice on there, and that way when I'm pushing off of the front end of the boat, I love to use B&M poles, 14 foot duck commanders. Uh, they're a little bit stiffer, allow you to put these heavier weights on there. In this case, a one ounce weight is what I'm using. And then I'll push those at 1.2 miles per hour off the front of the boat and I'll take and put the weight and the crankbait down in the zone that the fish are in. So if they're at 12 to 14, I'll put the weight down about 10 feet, allow that crankbait to come through those crappie. Because remember now, they don't look down, they always look out and up. So you want to have that crankbait right in the zone. I know it works. I used it last summer. I've used it with the new Johnson Shad Cranks, and they are perfect for what I'm talking about here. So when you get ready to go out there and post spawn them for crappie, Try this, try the crankbait, try this rig in doing it, and use 10 pound test line, use a high vis line on top so you can see it, use a low vis line below, use the Johnson Shad cranks and you can't go wrong. This is Dan Dannemuller for the tip. Until next time, you see me on the water, stop and say hello.